Oh my gosh, it's the same people. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to solo leveling episode 8 called This Is Frustrating. If you like solo leveling, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. Oh, yeah, he is with his mom. Yeah, the elixir of life. <laughs> So he said, like, he has to go back to get the actual ingredients. Dude, she looks like she's about done. Eternal sleep disease. Man, through that gate. What a crazy fight. Wow, it'd be suicide to enter the castle without getting stronger. I need to get stronger. So, I, you know, I feel like that's... Oh, he actually accepted to do the raids. Wow. Because this is going to be pretty big for him now as well. Because, I mean, they said something like 30 billion is on the line. Wow, you and I will be going in alone. Crazy. So basically, he'll just need to use um, him for utility. I think his name was Jin Hu. Can I do it? Oh, sorry. But what I was saying is that he's kind of like addicted to getting stronger. You know, it's like this thing he keeps chasing. And I mean, I don't even think there would, there's going to be an end to it. So what was... Wasn't her name like Chai... She's like S rank, if I'm not mistaken. And how can I help you? Yeah, she is an S rank hunter. Crazy, because there's only seven of them. Yun Boomgill. ゲートが発生するようになって十数年、世界はめまぐるしく変化して、今やインフラ、経済、メディア、政治に至るまで、あらゆるものがダンジョンとは無関係ではいられない。特に人々の生活の基盤となるインフラは、ダンジョンの資
even if it doesn't make sense. Strength, 80, 71. Agility, 80. I didn't even see the rest. The penalty zone. You see, he's like... All he is thinking about is getting stronger. And where can he get stronger? Wow. But now after... I think his name is... Um, Jin Hu, right? Or Ji Wu, Ji Hu, the, the young guy. But what I'm saying is now that his father has explained how it works, like you kind of get it now. Oh, Mr. Song. Looks like I've got my next raid. Isn't the only reason he survived because of Jin Wu? Like, he was one of the people in that, I guess, S rank dungeon. Or, I can't, they said something about double, double gate or something like that. Yeah, he was one of the people. Can't believe you stuck me with an interview. See, this is where I got confused the other day. Because I said there was two guys with like the red hair. But I forgot what you called this guy. With the glasses. It wasn't chairman, it was like another name. Maybe he wants to ask about Jin Wu. Oh, right. Guildmaster, wasn't it? Bro, Joey is... I don't know, like... She's still petrified from the that dungeon, bro. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? But it's kind of crazy. Quit trying to run my life. I want to try a little more. You see, because all Genwu thinks about now is getting stronger, right? Oh, is that him probably calling? Or, oh, no, it's the Hunters Association. Wow, so it's like you can almost think of them as like agencies, right? And they want the top talent. はい。その場でお断りしました。私が来る前にベクシャ長がお見えになっていたようですが、何を話されていたんですか? <laughs> What do you think about Jeju Island? Jeju So that first place we saw was Jeju Island. Oh my gosh. Imagine Jenwu goes there to get stronger. Because they didn't close the gate, I don't think. Oh, 
Because I mean, even S ranks lost on that island. I need you and the others on the same page. Dude, it's actually very interesting. Isn't there something you left behind on that island? Wow. Insu. Byongu. Oh, maybe it's like his friends that he lost. They have to die. I didn't awaken to a physical power. Is this Mr. Song? Just his hair is tied up, so I can't. Yeah, it is him with the one arm. Wow, he's gonna see Jinwu for the first time in a while. Dude. Is a beat. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. Because they're gonna go to the D rank dungeon now. Didn't you lose a leg? Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, must have been a high ranked healer. Why does Mr. Song look like he's aged like 50 years, bro? What a coincidence. Oh my gosh. It's the same people. Oh my gosh. She, she actually answered the call? Wow. This is interesting. Oh yeah. He's the only reason they're all alive. Dude, but is it... Are they there because they're such like a low grade E hunters and D rank hunters? Or is there another reason behind it? Dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chenwu, dude. Who's this now? We've got a fine lady in the group. Oh my gosh, convicts! You should play with us! Wow! Why do they bring prisoners there? That just doesn't seem like a good idea. Substitute hunters. Oh my gosh. The guy who I said looks like Megumi from Jujutsu Kaisen. You should sit the raid out. I'm going. Like, if only you knew. Just make sure you can heal, Johi. It's good to be free. Shut up, you convict. <laughs> He's the one who was like checking if Jinwu had the awakening the other day. Do you mind if I leave? The one arm bandit. Seven people died because of me. I'm so grateful to you. Wow. This is gonna be interesting to see. A shame. He's obviously a shame. Wasn't he like the first to run out like with his tail between his legs? Damn, this is gonna be um I mean 
obviously this is probably going to be the next episode yeah wow very good very interesting stuff i like how we we learned about how the structure of everything works from i, I I'm, f- I'm f- not thinking of his name but i think it's like jin who j-i-n-h-o-o um he's the son of the the what's his hujin construction the owner the ceo but he basically said how like the hunter association is they're just like a government sort of function right they sort of see like see to it like the awakenings and all that stuff they set who gets s rank and they kind of just like the middleman and then the the guilds will swoop in and it reminds me a lot about like agencies um whether that be modeling or acting or whatever you always have these agents and they always looking for the like the next talent right and obviously your s rank those are like your stars and so it's kind of it's obviously frowned upon if my I have this new agency and I'm going behind everyone's back and I'm offering money to you know your like your clients like that's obviously frowned upon but something that's interesting as well is that all the money and stuff goes to them so it's like so it's like his father was saying is that this has become such a vital resource in the world even if it's just the last 10 years it's changed the whole world so now these guilds these five guilds if i can remember it correctly i'll probably butcher it but i know it was like the knights guild fame guild uh, i can't even think of the others but they basically control all the resources they have all the power in the world actually because the whole world runs off of the essence crystals and the mana crystals and stuff that they collect so it's kind of like the whole world like bows to them so that's why um from hujin construction the dude's dad is like i want to get involved in that because you know why should we let them run this monopoly as he was talking about but it's cool to see this like this bit of this reunion again with everyone obviously they only there because of jin wu but he's now completely changed so it's going to be interesting to see, even see what like jo hee can do because I mean she's sitting in a room like almost in the dark. Obviously it was a traumatic event. I'm not going to take that away, but she seems to have been the only one who still affected this way. Now we did see I think his name was Kim. He like, you know, he has shame still, but like other than that he's there, he's shown up. The weird thing with these prisoners that is obviously not a good idea, especially if they able to like, you know, complete the dungeon. They might go rogue. but they do have that other dude there i think yaik or something that was his name who's like he can deal with them pretty easily he looks like megumi from jujutsu kaisen but wow well, like what i like is that structural part of how their world works at this point and and i think it was mr bayak or something he's the president of that guild You know, they spoke about that island, Jeju Island, which is what we saw in the beginning, where even the S rank cunt is lost. So all they've done is sort of barricaded it off and, you know, they get like reconnaissance now and then, but that's still open. So even if, if the S ranks couldn't do it, like I wonder what bosses they actually fought because all we saw was the giant ants. We never saw anything crazy. So that's going to be extremely interesting to see but really good episode that's going to be it for me if you like solo leveling smash that like button follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date because i'm releasing every single day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit